All right, on to part two of the Great Emu War. All right, so the emus were reported to understand the range of the machine guns. While learning in most animals takes place from repeated exposure, we might imagine instead that they designed an observational study and have the ability to precisely measure the range of the machine guns. All right, so over 53 bursts of machine gun fire, the mean range of the machine gun was measured to be 1,553 yards, or with a standard deviation of 204.74 yards. Okay, so the observational unit here is a burst of machine gun fire. Okay, the population is the machine guns used in the Great Emu War. All right. And this is a quantitative variable, right? It's specifically, we're looking at the range of the gun in yards. Okay, so the statistic of interest is the mean range of the gun. And as reported in the problem, our sample statistic, x bar, is 1553 yards. Okay, and our standard error is, and this is where I flip over here and we look at the summary here. The standard deviation of a sample mean is s over square root of n. Okay. So, standard error is s over square root of n equals 204. 4.74 over square root of 53, which is 28.1232. Now, notice that 204.74 equals the standard deviation of the sample, and this is the standard error, the standard deviation of the sample mean. Okay, so there are two different quantities and the standard deviation of the mean should always be smaller than the standard deviation of the sample. Okay, so this one, by the way, took me um, an embarrassingly long time to figure out that the standard error and the standard deviation were different, which is why I'm highlighting it. Um, I got all the way to grad school without realizing that one. So, the emus would like to have 95% confidence in the actual range of the machine guns used by the military so that the flock leaders can keep a safe distance while maximizing the amount of wheat that they can eat. So, provide an interval containing the true range of the machine gun. Okay, so here I'm going to use a 2SD interval. You can obviously go into the book and figure out your T statistic for your interval if you want to do that. 53 is um, on the edge of what I would say it probably would actually matter, but two is good, okay? So our formula is X bar plus or minus molt, which we've already said is two, times s over square root of n. So that's 1553 plus or minus 2 times 28.1232, which is 1496.754 comma 1609.247.
okay, or 1497, comma, 1609. So if we just round to that. Okay, so let's interpret this in the context of the problem. We are 95% confident that the true range of the machine gun used is between okay so true I need mean range of the machine guns used is between 1497 and 1609 yards to be safe The emus should stay at least 1609 yards away from the machine guns. Okay. So, over the next several days, the emus continued to collect data. Cumulatively, they have 92 measurements, and the new mean range is 1,550 yards, with a standard deviation of 200. How does your interval change now that you have more data? All right. So, 1,550 is not that different from 1,553. Okay, 200 versus 204 is again not much change. So what this is asking is we had 92 observations compared to 53 observations. So what this problem is asking is when n changes So when n increases, what does the CI do? Okay. All right. So we divide by the square root of n, right, in our standard error. So I'm going to say that when n increases, the standard error decreases. which means that the width of the CI decreases, which means that there is less uncertainty in our interval. So hopefully that is a relatively straightforward um, problem that helps to understand how we might apply some of these confidence intervals in practice. And if you fully understand confidence intervals, treat yourself to any one of the numerous YouTube videos about the Great Emu War, uh, because the whole sin the whole situation was hilarious. All right, have a wonderful day. Bye.